Hi everyone, welcome back to another video of Code Prime. In this tutorial, we're going to learn this CSS min max property, and it was using for this min height, max height, min width, max height. So we are going to using it for all of this property: this min width, max width, min height, and max height. This all item is using for this responsive website for doing any website for making the responsive property. So for this reason, we use that min max property about it. But there are also another property: this media query. We can use that using that media query skin sizes. That's also work for this responsive. Uh, but we are going to this making responsive using this min max but about this media query i will make another video about it in the later about it so let's just start this video right now here okay first we are going to learn this min max with for the css so let's using that so here you can say i've added my basic html code here so here you can say i've added the two file min max with and min max html so we are going to cover this both of this one here so first of all we are using that min max width and we will be see the live view on this browser over here so let me write some basic code about for better understanding for the min max width So here you can see we have written this all code successfully about it so you can see here i have added the boxes inside of images and a paragraph text and we have handled the css we have set some width for the box and images and height and for this body item we are using the center edit so for this reason we have using the css and here you can see the live pdp is like this but here by default we set a width that is 700 pixel so now here you can see it is looking like this now we are going to using the min max width and height so first of all let me remove this width by default we have set it so now we are using that min width and here we are going to make it it is 300 pixel so i remember going to scrolling that skin but it was working for this it complete with this it was taken but when we are going to make some responsive skin it will work so now let's set this max width so that it can be perfectly we can visible it so i'm setting the max width is 700 pixel and just save this file and now we are going to back to the chrome browser here so we can write it here easily okay just back to here and here you can see this maximum width is it was working for the 700 pixel and main width is working for this so now we're going to uh, this develop option for this right click but there is a separate tab we have made it but now i'm going to show you that how we can make it so let me go to this our previous set our tab by default and here we can see that this is actually body screen is not suitable for a screen so now just click onto the three dot menu and select that a backdrop tab so it was going to that out for that our developer tools and here we have this plain skin so now we can see we can skin sizes we can manage the sizes whenever we're going to set this 700 pixel it will be set exactly that max width we already have set it so anyway we're going to making that skin is longer than but it was working this 700 and taking for the smaller but here skin you can see that around 300 pixel the skin sizes of the content is not getting to any more smaller so it was fixing on this size so this way we can set this minimum width and maximum width you can see whenever we're going to making this more smaller inside of this working as a scroll bar so this way we can set it for this minimum width and this maximum width is so now let's we are going to try using that the next tutorial about it that is min max height okay now we are going to learn this min max height for this using this in css so let's start it so you can see i've added a basic html code here so here I've said added some title about the min max side property by CSS Code Prime. Here you can see I've added a complete of this code here. You can see I've added a box. Inside of this boxes, I have write some paragraph about the lorem, and here I have handled this CSS boxes items. We have set a width 
and border and padding and for this body item we are going to use for the center dip for doing the display flex and we have centered this now checking this slide preview it is looking like this so let me set some font size increasing here so that it can be visible perfectly so let's on the first size so i'm going to set it this 2m so then it can be visible perfectly so it was looking perfectly here but this border is not looking good so let me set a colorful border before going to this we're going to just setting this some some of this here so let me you can see that it was working the border is by default it's working but this color is not working as a good for this border we'll set this another color for this border also now back to that our quoted here about this for checking that with the height about it the mean and max height now go to back here okay so here we are going to using that the max so first of all let's set this color of the border light color so it can be visible goodly here and you can see it was a red color border it was visible goodly here now back to this code editor here so now we just need to get it setting this for this min height so first of all we are going to set this min height that is 150 pixel and when we are going to set this 150 pixel we can see it was working by default because this file size is exactly less than that is 150 pixel it will be exactly take that 150 pixel for this text so now we are going to be using that just copy this line and here we are going to this the max side and then we will be set this value for this max side so here now back to the value here so now we are going to assign that is 400 pixel of the max width value and set this file from here and back to this website so it was not working because we have some little text that about here so let me back to here and we are going to make some increasing about the text about it so first of all let's check this main width removing the text and here we can see that it was exactly that 150 pixel the main width main height is exactly that and it is this other pixel about this size that is blank so anyway we're going to this using that less weighted about this text it will be take some very smaller height and this that we have this fixed width height is about it 150 pixel now we're going to using that max height so now back to about it this our coding studio here now we just need to increase some more text about it so back to here and we're going to write in that lorem and here i'm writing 70 so it will be completed 70 word of paragraph now it was set it and you can see that the text was going to outside but there's exactly our maximum height is that is 400 pixel and the border was set at the 400 but some text is going to outside but no one can be want to do that for this but in some cases it can be possible to do some better stylus of your website in some cases it was very neatly so then you can use that the maximum height but no one want to, have to use that so now back to here and now we are going to using that hiding of the text using that overflow property and it will be we are going to using the overflow scroll so that it can be make that all of this our text inside of these boxes now you can see here a visible for a scroll bar and this all of outside text is added now we can read this all in file side information about it just going to scrolling here down and you can read this all information of texts so this way you can use that maximum width height and width and all information about this maximum with that so if you need any inquiry about it or if you're having any issue to doing practice you can give me on the comment section below and if you enjoyed this video please like on it and share it with your friends and please subscribe and press the bell icon so that you will never miss any updated from us